go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow, Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, so apparently they replaced Hank Lundy um, from the BLK Prime February 25th pay per view, replaced him with Michael Williams Jr. Shout out to his dad, Michael Williams Sr. Uh, to me, that was a pivot I wasn't expecting to come. I seen uh, Michael Williams Jr. running the other day, so, um, you know, I, I still may go, I doubt it, but I still may, may end up going just to go. But, uh, but yeah, this fight, you know, they got, they had to make it happen February 25th because of the onslaught of pay-per-views they got coming. March 25th, Benavidez playing. The way PBC shit been falling out, though, you just don't never know. And then, you know, in April, you got Tank and Ryan. And then you got Canelo coming back in May. And then the rumor is Keith and Earl going to be going down in May. So, I mean, we're, you don't really want to overlap or compete with them pay-per-views. Your best bet is to push it, push it back a week before Caleb Plant and Benavidez. But the thing about that is you don't want to make Al Heyman an enemy. And then, you know, you want to come with a better name. No offense to Michael Williams Jr., but, you know, I was hearing that, you know, allegedly Lundy has signed another contract to fight somebody else with another promoter. And that was one of the big hangups. Like, man, dude, let the dude, you know, cash yourself out and let him go get that money. Boxing is a crab in the bucket, uh, you know, game. Okay, he signed. How much can he, he buy himself out the contract for? You know, that's what, that should have been the conversation. You know, that should have been the conversation. Maybe the numbers got too astronomically high or whatever the situation may be, but it is what it is. He had lost four in a row. Um, I think Michael Williams Jr. came back, got a couple wins after his lot. I lost some top rank. But that's going to be a tough sell to people. Um, but it'll be in Atlanta. It'll be in the South. I think Michael Williams, he, you know, for the most part, that's what he was fighting at in the South. I think Roy Jones threw in his corner. So that would be something for people to come out and see Roy. Um, and uh, and um, you know Adrian Brown. So um, end of the day, he probably would need another fight before he was able to get ready for uh, Regis Progress. That's what I would say. He probably would need another fight to get ready for Regis. But um, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, Lundy couldn't make the party. Red Cash promoter got in the way. That shit was funny to me. You gonna stop Red Cash from making making money. Like I said, you don't sign with dudes like that, bro. A lot of these box promoters, they be so hard on these fighters. You know what I'm saying? They be too hard on these fighters, man. I don't be liking how they be treating them, bro. How you gonna take food out this man family mouth? You know, I would never sign with Joe Nagardi. I wouldn't do no big thing. I don't care what the hell he said what the reason was. Should nobody be signing with that man. That better be your only option. But it, all of them the same in boxing. All of them snakes. All of them dirtbags. And they look at these boxers as uneducated men and women. That's how they look at it. At. And all these boxers should be, you know, requesting transparency. They should be requesting to look at the books. All that shit. Y'all all should be requesting that. All auditing them. Because they hire money and stealing money from y'all. We all know it. But, yeah, Adrian gonna need to get back in the ring. With somebody else. Somebody more, you know, durable. And I don't think... Lundy, Michael Williams Jr., Red Cash, he still needed another fight. You know, he still needed another fight. But you know, one thing about Bronner, he gonna make he, he making sure brothers get paid since Red Cash fell out. He trying to feed the uh, black people. Can't say the same about his uh, his whole ass mentor Floyd Mayweather. I didn't want to see y'all niggas eat. He ain't want to give y'all the opportunity. He ain't want to give y'all the belt. He ain't want to give y'all the spam sandwich. He sat there and complained about. Uh, he sat there and complained about uh, Bob Aaron putting the uh, putting Hispanics and Latinos and Mexicans before a black fighter, and he left and did the same shit. 
he left and did the same shit. He left and did the same thing, bro. And that's what he stood on. He wasn't trying to get none of them brothers, Devin Alexander, Tim Bradley, an opportunity. He he wasn't trying to feed nobody. Nobody black. You can't be something. You mean you better off being signed to the man than signed to another black person that don't want to see you do good. But Broner making sure these brothers get an opportunity. And real talk, I, I respect that. Even though Red Cash is somebody he already had lined up and all that other type of stuff, they said, okay, we're going to fight Red Cash at one point. He fell out because his promoter was a fucking hater. He went to Lundy and tried to get Lundy the bag. You know, Lundy couldn't get it in with the Michael Williams Jr. Gave him the exposure in the bag. So even though, you know, I think Red Cash had the best opportunity of winning the fight, he making sure these, these men get, get money, bro, and getting a nice little payday. You know what I'm saying? He making sure his people good, unlike other people in boxing, bro. All they do is pimp, pimp other brothers. I'm getting caught by every light this morning. This shit is hilarious. He's trying to pimp other brothers. He making sure people eat. But Michael Williams Jr., you know, he had one fight at the top level. He got stopped. And more than likely, that's what Broner going to probably do to him. He ain't got enough experience. You know, he, went, he was fighting the South, fighting a certain level of opposition. But the difference is, the difference is, you got to, you can't, you got to, you got to, you got to level up. You just can't fight 20 nobodies and then expect to be at the level, especially if you're not uh, sparring 100 somebody, 100 good, great fighters. So you got to step up the opposition, and, that, and that's that's become a problem in boxing, where a lot of these dudes, they think I can get 20, 30 nobodies on my resume, the network's going to look at my record, and I'm going to be able to swim with the Sharks. Hell no, you're going to drown and get ate up. That's exactly what's going to happen. You gotta level up your competition in the gym and in the ring. It, it has to happen. And if you don't level up that competition, it's gonna catch up with you at some point in your career. And Michael Williams just kept fighting the same caliber guys. He never was leveling up. And then when he leveled up with top rank, he lost. So you gotta fight guys, you gotta fight guys. And doing it in the right increments. Don't jump too. Don't jump too high, and don't jump. You know, take small, real, real small increments. You got to take nice jumps for your development. You know, but it just don't seem like this event. I know they moved it from the State Farms to a, a, somebody was selling me in a, a venue in College Park. So. smaller venue, but there's reasons behind that, but I don't know who else would have, you know, the way BLK Prime throwing good money, I wonder who else was on the table. I really can't think of nobody off, off hand. You know, can't really think of nobody. You know, most of the guys, like, you know, that, you know, some of these other dudes retired, they ain't retired. Or affiliated with other companies, other companies might leave them out. Especially with a, you know, with a not a lot of, there's not a lot of fight days left out there. So other companies might be leasing guys out. I mean, you seen they seen Tony Harrison in Australia, and apparently what was being said was that Tony Harrison was saying, according to Andrew myself, he did an interview about a month ago where he was saying that uh, they never approached him about Sebastian Fondora fight even though they ordered it. So, but, you know, like PBC, uh, willing to kind of, you know, lease some of these contracts out. You know? You know, maybe maybe it's just Tony Harris, but, you know, I think Top Rank would be willing to do the same. Somebody gonna split the bill, you know, or, or front the bill. For my fighter to come over here, I think they willing to do it. I really do, but you know, this is what they this is what they came up with. 
Uh, Mike Williams fought a lot in the South. So you got somewhat of a fan base down there. So it probably made economic sense, you know. Gave him a nice little chunk of change to come fight. You know, and that can go towards his future if you win. I mean, maybe that goes on to, or has a good performance, a good show. Maybe that go on to, um, you know, a partnership with BLK Prime. So he got a lot to gain, a lot to, and not too much to lose, and no fighters is dangerous. I don't have no pressure of keeping no O. I don't have no pressure of, of, of having to win this fight. I'm just here. I'm getting paid. And, you know, all the pressure on Brown to perform. But, you know, apparently Lundy signed a, a, another contract, and that's what, you know, that's what I heard, allegedly. And that's what keeping him from fighting, but hey. It is what it is. Check out the truck. Um, excuse me. Check out the boxing news playlist. And then on boxing scene, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash app dollar sign CJ Good three one three. Venmo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. One time for one time. Good fella TV. Peace.